good morning students today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 13 transport in this lesson children we are going to read about types of transport and advantages of each mode of transport but first of all children what do you mean by transport so children transport means to take or to carry people or goods from one place to another by means of a vehicle so when we use a vehicle to carry people or goods from one place to another then that is known as transport now let us read about types of transport transport has become an important part of our lives today people can travel by road rail air and waterways so children transport has become a very important part of our lives today we all can travel anywhere by the help of road rail air or waterways so children due to these different types of transport the distance between different places have become very less so we can go from anywhere to anywhere in very less amount of time by using different types of transport suppose if i want to go from ranchi to mumbai in just one day so i will book a flight and i can reach mumbai in just one day so in this way children different types of transport help us in going to various places in short time now let us read about roads roads connect the villages to cities and towns roads are maintained by the state government within the state and central government as well so children road transport or roadways is a type of transport by using roads so in roadways we use roads to travel now children these roads connect villages to towns and to cities also so roads basically they connect all the places within the state so children roads help us to move within the cities and towns then all these roads are maintained by the state government also and central government also so both central and state government take care of the roads and specially children all the roads that lie within a state is maintained by the state government only then villages in india mostly have non metal roads while towns and cities have metal roads metal roads are made of tar and they are also known as pakka roads so children mostly in the villages they have non metal roads so villages have non metal roads non metal means kacha road so children villages generally they have kacha roads and kacha road is made up of mud but in towns and cities we have metal roads which is also known as pakka road and that is made up of coal tar now look at this paragraph roads are the lifeline of a country they not only carry people from one part to the other but also carry a variety of goods like grains fruits vegetables oil and petroleum all over india they also help in transport of raw material and finished goods from one place to another they help in industrial development so children here in this paragraph we are learning about advantages of using roadways so children roads are the lifeline of a country roads also carry people from one place to another and it also carries different types of goods from one place to another like grains fruits vegetables oil and petroleum all these things can be carried from one place to another by using roads now children roads also help a lot in transport of raw materials and finished goods from one place to another and lastly children roads also help in industrial development 
so if roads are not built then our industries will also suffer so in this way children roads are very important in our lives now big trucks called trailers carry vehicles like cars and scooters all these are delivered across the country india is also connected with bangladesh nepal pakistan and myanmar by roads now children i am sure you must have seen very big big trucks on the roads so those trucks are known as trailers and these big trucks or trailers they carry other vehicles like cars and scooters as you can see in the first page children this is the picture of a trailer and it is carrying cars and children all these cars can be delivered to many places in our countries so this is the image of a trailer as you can see here then children india is also connected to some of our neighboring countries like bangladesh nepal pakistan myanmar so all these countries are connected to india by the roads next roads can be categorized broadly into expressways national highways straight highways and rural roads national highways connect the cities of one state to another the national highway 1 nh1 connects new delhi to atari a town in punjab state highways are roads that connect different cities and towns in a state the roads in rural areas are kacha roads and are in the process of development so children roads can be categorized into four types expressways national highway state highways and rural roads so children expressways are four or six lane roads on which vehicles move non stop then children national highways are roads that connect the cities of one state to another and the short form of national highway is nh and children all the national highways have been numbered all the national highways that are in india have been numbered like national highway 1 or nh1 is a road that connects new delhi to atari which is a town in punjab then children state highways are the roads that connect different cities and towns in a state and lastly children rural roads are the kacha roads of villages and the government is taking steps to develop these kacha roads also next the border road organization bro was established in 1960 to construct and maintain the roads in the border areas for defense purposes the bro also construct airfields bridges and other projects the roads are also used extensively by the army to sub, to transport troops and weapons to border areas now children border road organization or in short form it is known as bro is an organization organization means sanstha so it is an organization that was established in 1960 to construct and maintain roads in the border areas for defense purposes so children this organization is responsible for constructing and maintaining roads that lie in the border of india and children this organization also construct or it also builds airfields bridges and some other things also now children what is an airfield airfield is an area of land for the take off and landing and maintenance of the aircrafts which are used by the soldiers or which are used by the army people so that is airfield and lastly children these roads are also used extensively extensively means a lot so these roads are also used a lot by the army to carry troops troops means soldiers 
to carry soldiers and weapons to the border areas now children we will read good to know the golden quadrilateral road network joins the four metropolitan cities of delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai so children this over here this blue line over here this shows the golden quadrilateral road network which joins the four metropolitan cities of delhi mumbai kolkata as well as chennai so this blue line shows a quadrilateral okay children we will just read this box over here that is time to think how do you think people traveled in the olden days do you think it would have been possible to cover the distance between mumbai and kolkata in just one day so children let us answer the first question how do you think people traveled in olden days so children in olden days people had no means of transport so whenever they had to go somewhere they walked on their feet and children sometimes they even used animals to carry their goods and the answer of second question is children that no it is not possible or it was not possible to cover the distance between mumbai and kolkata in just one day in olden times as these places were very far from each other but today of course by taking a flight we can cover the distance in just one day okay children so that is it for today now please revise the portion that is taught and in case if you have any doubt you can ask your doubt through campus care now i will see you all in the next session thank you children